Hey everyone! I know as Android developers, the anticipation around platform updates can sometimes be a bit stressful. Remember the early days when it felt like waiting forever for those big Google updates to reach our devices? Well, there's a lot more to this story than meets the eye. When the Android team mentioned they had a major change on the horizon that would continue evolving how we handle updates, I was all ears. So, I had a chat with Matthew, the VP of product management on the Android dev team, to get the scoop. Matthew explained that Android is shifting to more frequent SDK releases, with two planned for next year. These releases are set to drive faster innovation in both apps and devices, offering higher stability and polish for US developers and users alike. We're looking at a major release in Q2 2025 and a minor one in Q4 2025, both packed with new developer APIs. Now, as a dev, you might be wondering what this means for your release calendar. Well, the next major release is moving up to Q2 to better align with major Android OEM schedules, three months earlier than usual. This means more devices will get the latest major Android release in 2025. And to help you prep, the Q2 major release developer preview and beta program will kick off in just a few weeks. This change got me thinking about how computing has evolved since the early days of mobile. Platforms are now adapting to push features out faster. For instance, you shouldn't need to update your entire OS just to get a new feature on your calculator. To dive deeper into the technical side, I reached out to Justin Ho, a technical program manager and a guru in Android's development process. Justin described the old software development process as building a house. Start with a foundation, build the house, and then do small fixes occasionally. This meant major innovations were delivered in infrequent, sometimes years apart releases. Today, mobile moves much faster. Imagine updating your house constantly, adding a new kitchen or an updated living room whenever they're ready. With this new approach, larger renovations can take their time and be done right, without affecting other parts of the house. Android's update system is designed in layers, the apps you use, the OS framework, and the hardware-specific drivers. First, we moved features to regularly updated apps like Gmail, YouTube, and Maps via the Play Store. This enabled devices to quickly gain new capabilities. Next, Project Treble introduced a clear separation between the Android OS framework and device-specific drivers, speeding up the rollout of updates. More recently, Project Mainline took it further by packaging core OS components into modules that can be updated through the Play Store. This modular approach allows for fast, consistent updates across the ecosystem. So, what does this mean for you now? With the major platform release coming in Q2, you'll need to adjust your compatibility testing schedule. Test your builds as soon as the new SDKs are ready. Automation can help identify potential issues. Meta improved their target SDK adoption velocity by four times across their apps using this approach, leading to a seamless rollout of new platform features. To learn more, follow the link below. Thanks for watching and happy coding.